George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle, lives a life that's free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in a scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. An ape named ape, then away he'll schlep on his elephant Shep, Magnolia, and Ursula stay in step. He stalks the jungle, totally weirding out its inhabitants. He's terrified, yet also strangely hilarious. What manner of horrific beach ball-like creature could this be? It's George, everybody's favorite jungle king. He's just come down with a bad case of acute puffitis. Didn't even know it was real until now, but hey, that's life in crazy town. <laughs> But how did George catch such a rare and ungainly disease? Was it a bite from that vampire puffer fish? Did he catch it from that overly affectionate puffin? Or maybe that hostile tribe of puffy pillows? You got me, but I'll run some tests. Until then, stay away from anything, Charlie. And do not go to the beach. Come, George. Let's get you home to rest. No, ape! A cook pooperitis, no stop, king of jungle! Oh. George, prove he'd still be good king. Oh, George need breeze. Little did George suspect, but he was being watched by the all-knowing and stylish Council of Apes. The king is far too round to protect the jungle. We must take action. Time to summon the Steve. Yes, the Steve. I'm his target. Can we go back to talking? No, we use telepathy because your breath smells like zebra cheese. That was me. Can't we just summon the Steve already? You wreck your own planet, Space Rocks. This moment would never come. Steve, the jungle needs you. You are our only hope. I know. You need to rest, George. Yes, we have summoned the Steve to take over your duties while you heal. The Steve? Wait. Who's Steve? And what you mean, take over? Ooh. Yes, space diving is awesome. I would normally introduce myself, but... Oh, can I? This handsome devil is Steve. A jungle orphan like George, Steve was raised by apes but left the jungle when he was still young. Steve became the most successful person ever. Three countries, two continents, and the moon were named after him. Don't you mean the Steve? It's time to put the team back together, Ape. Ape and Steve know each other? Ape and I go way back. We're best friends and even better partners. I wouldn't put it quite like that. Don't you worry, George. Just think of me as a better version of you. Come on, Ape, there's a jungle to rumble. Steve, I really do. No, George King. George Fine. George, show everyone. Uh. Oh, turkey, turkey. Glorious. <laughs> Just like I remember. You're not upset about. <laughs> Ape, please, do I look like someone with a burning desire for revenge? My only burning desire is to protect this jungle. But first, time to take this place to the cliff. Steve, stop! You'll flood the entire jungle! <laughs> But I 
Oh, Much better. Oh. That the old girl could use a little sparkle. It was Steve. He destroyed everything. We have to stop! And replaced it with this. <laughs> now I can charge triple. Just showing my appreciation for the fine work you do, Doc. <laughs> Serves me right for standing too close. Is it possible? Have I misjudged Steve? Hmm. Where did everybody go? Hello? 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 Steve, what's he done to? Steve! Huh? <laughs> I'm saying this, but Steve's doing a fine job. Stop that noise! Oh, yes, Steve, very good. Maybe he should be king. That's just it. He was supposed to be. Years ago, I trained Steve in the ways of the jungle. He was smart. He was brave. He was strong, but he was also a jerk. Ah, uh, no! <laughs> I thought it was my fault that I had failed Steve as his mentor. Until we discovered he'd been born with an angry weasel for a heart. I didn't know what to do. But then came the great orphan storm of 99. That's when I found George. And I knew he'd be a good king. Plus, the council always had a weakness for the newest fads, like taco manicures or zebra shoes. And you couldn't get any newer than George. <laughs> Steve was forgotten until now. But it appears he's not the weasel-hearted man I thought he was. George, Ape's second choice? George, I brought you to the council because I believe there's more to a jungle king than being a fantastic, beloved, effective, handsome, natural leader. That does sound quite weak when I say it out loud. No, no! George proved that he good king and first choice! George saved baby lions! Oh now, save your applause. I only did what any other amazing jungle king would do. <laughs> now you can applaud. Steve, best king ever. George, go. Anyone here, George? Please, you're making me blush. George, leave now, forever. George? George! George! I found out why George got sick. Someone hit him with his blowgun dart, and it's poisoned with pufferfish puffin pillow venom. Oh, come on. Like, we're supposed to remember you finding that thing? It was like 10 years ago, and I wasn't even there. <gasps> Steve! Hold on. Steve hit George with that? From space? He was always good with a blowgun. <laughs> Too good. <laughs> so, you finally figured it out. Ape was right. I totally want revenge. I mean, duh. Of course you'll all suffer for tossing me aside. What did you do with George? Besides utterly destroy his self-worth and make him leave in disgrace? What did you expect from a man with a weasel for a heart? You think I'm good with a blowgun? I'm even better at networking. Get it? <laughs> ah, uh, this good net! Your treachery will never succeed! I know your secret. Without your bananas, you are nothing. Nothing! 
Steve, this was your home. Think about what you're doing. Oh, I have. For years. Do you think this kind of revenge happens by accident? Now, who's going in first? Oh, oh my. <laughs> George! Let George friends go! You think you're a match for the steam? I'm worth trillions! I have my own spaceship! I've even walked on the surface of the steam! <laughs> Steve better spaceman, better looking, maybe even better king, but George better crushy ball! <laughs> What was Steve's fate? He fell in lava. Or maybe not. George, not pay attention. That's dramatically convenient. George, even though you thought you were worthless, you returned and saved your friends. Actually, George come back after George saw scary men in the jungle. <laughs> Welcome back, King of the Jungle. <laughs> I guess hugs will just have to wait till you're better. <laughs> Waiting for Sissy. Friends, where would we be without them? Always there in times of need, never judging, forever supportive. Blah, blah, blah. But most importantly of all, true friends would never, ever tell each other the cold, hard truth. Say something to him. George no want to hurt ape feelings. Magnolia, tell ape. No way. Ursula? Ursula, ask him. Then we all run away. No, George like ape. Only hate ape cooking. I hope you all brought your appetites. I've been toiling in the kitchen all day to make everyone's favorite dish, my jungle jelly surprise. From these hands to your stomachs and thence to all of our hearts. Can George have hot sauce? Hmm, I suppose. One moment. <laughs> oh, good idea. Magnolia's smart. No, oh, please. You got Abe out of the room with that hot sauce idea. Come on. George just wants sauce to burn tongue, so George no taste jelly. It's like stink badger. Eat skunk, then bleh on plate. One bottle of hot sauce. Mm. Oh, so good, we not wait for sauce. Wish there was more. Oh dear, I'm afraid I didn't have the foresight to prepare seconds. <laughs> Say it isn't so. No need to cry, my friends. I'll simply get started on my biggest batch ever. Why, we always go overboard. <laughs> It's heartwarming what true friends will do for one another, isn't it? Meanwhile, out among the stars, a lone extraterrestrial is in dire need of a friend. But this isn't any run-of-the-mill extraterrestrial. Poor Carl. He thinks he's found a remote outpost of his own kind. Yes, his name is Carl. Narrators know things like this. He's a Jalician from the Gelati Quadrant. And this is what's known as a Jalician mind mode, by which he can share his thoughts and knowledge.
Ouch! Magnolia? Hmm, this looks like one of my... <laughs> 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 And so, George and his friends were press jellied into building a huge, uh, something for the now intelligent and ornery desserts. When Ape call it Jungle Jelly Surprise, he no kidding. <laughs> be alive. I mean, what's in that recipe? The more puzzling question is, where did they all come from? Ape make them all. <gasps> but you ate all my jellies, remember? Oh, that is tough one. We can worry about wherever they came from after we're free. The solution to our plight is simple, my friends. We shall band together and eat our jelly overlords. <laughs> There has got to be another way! No worry! George set jungle free! Before Ape learned truth! Oh! Ah! Hold on! I know I've got something in here about fighting aliens! Ah, got it! Just make jellies more angry! And make more jellies! Only one thing we can do! You mean? Yes. Eat. Why do you keep doing that whenever somebody mentions eating jellies? Luckily, before anyone has to tell Ape the terrible truth, something even more terrible happens. This day just keeps getting weirder and weirder. <laughs> had us building a gigantic vegetable steamer. These uh, asparagus wouldn't have stood a chance against it. Ooh, too bad we smashed it. Maybe Carl come in spaceship that crashed a couple nights ago. You saw a UFO crash land in the jungle and you didn't tell anybody? George afraid you say he crazy. We'd never say. No, George right. He say he see flying saucer meet uh, him with club. Please, please, please have answers. Oh. I was kind of hoping for some alien super weapons. I record this sad tale as a warning to others. For millennia, mankind lived in peace and prosperity. But we didn't have the heart to tell our cooks that we hated their specialty, asparagus surprise. Instead of eating it, we hid it. As the eons passed, the asparagus evolved. Like so many leftovers that had never been refrigerated, they turned evil. 
their disgusting texture, bitter taste, and startling effect on urine across the galaxy. As the last of my kind, I ask all beings to forgive us for creating such monsters. What? But if Kong was the last of his kind, where did all those extra jellies come from? Oh, jellies not extra. They yours. We, we all hate all jungle, jungle jelly, jelly surprise. surprise. Why didn't you say so? Do you have any idea how much I hate making jungle jelly surprise? <laughs> the main ingredient is wildebeest hooves, and providing them with running shoes in exchange is driving me bankrupt. I only made jungle jelly surprise because you all said you loved it. And, well, because... Oh, because you love us! We all hug his group now! We sorry. We no tell truth because we no want hurt ape feelings. Wow! If only we told each other the truth, none of this would have happened. <gasps> That's what real friends do. We lie to one another. Arr! Enough hug! Break up or me start clubbing! So, we're all good then? Except for aliens invading jungle. Should really get on that. Right. And their only weakness is their edible. Yeah. George will need a lot of hot sauce. Another bite. Oh. oh, alien aftertaste worse. Oh, oh, he's right. Blech. Those guys were disgusting. Almost as disgusting as apes. Right? Sorry. We are Sundacons from Sector Sprinkle here to enslave you. Maybe George have room for dessert.